But first, a demand for solutions finally meeting action. People experiencing homelessness camped out for months in front of city leaders. We withstood rain, snow, sleet, and hail to come together on common terms. Well, now some are packing up. Hopeful the city will provide resources for those without a home. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Holmes. And I'm Dia Wall. We appreciate you watching 41 Action News on air and your favorite streaming platform. Kansas City's mayor announced new legislation to address homelessness today. But as 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling shows us, it's going to take some time. It's a victory for the Casey Homeless Union, standing together, smiling, as they feel some of their demands have been met by the city. We was heard to be heard, and to be seen is to be heard. The city see us, and they hear us. There's three pieces of legislation Kansas City Mayor Quint Lucas agreed to. One, extending the current hotel and motel contract by 90 days, giving those experiencing homelessness a place to stay temporarily. That passed unanimously at City Council on Thursday. The other two will have to go through council committees, including a study identifying the number of homeless people in the Kansas City workforce and examine challenges faced with getting a job and creating more job opportunities. And last, a method to transfer land bank properties out of the land bank to refurbish 112 houses. After the announcement, we did see some people on the front lawn of City Hall pack up and board a van to go to the hotels. We've been talking for a while, but over the last four days, I think we showed what were the principles of de-escalation, of working together, and of communication. But some say that communication didn't go to everyone. Here at the Westport Camp, you can tell the tents continue to grow out here. Leaders here say that these resolutions are just band-aids and really don't tackle the major issues those experiencing homelessness face. The homeless union, they didn't include anyone here in this, and so it's hard to know, like, like, Mayor Quint Lucas hasn't been here. Misha Smith is with the Midwest Homeless Collective and says Camp 6 demands are barrier-free access to housing, on-site mental care, substance abuse treatment, and also a seat at the table. Otherwise, these tents will stay. They are still wanting to make sure people listen to their demands and have the community support um, to stay. It's a complex issue getting the attention from City Hall in hopes of finding what's best. We're human and we want to be treated humane. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.